episode four. Episode four. We're doing episode four. Uh, do I really have to do an intro again? I, I mean, I feel like if you're, you know, not insane, you'll watch the first few episodes of a series. This is Tavern Talk. In case you are one of those insane people that would just watch a series out of order. You know what? You want to... I, I don't have to explain this game to you. If you want an explanation, go watch a trailer or something. Why do I have to do all the work for you? Okay, let's play Tavern Talk! It, it's been a few days, so I, I might have forgotten their voices. Who the fuck are you? Uh, well, I, I, I don't really have to worry about that, because uh, I, I don't know this person. <laughs> um, I need a voice. Hello, Winkeep. She talks like a parrot. Hey, hey, Chrissy. Long time no see. So true. I can't do this. Ah, oh, fuck. So true. I've been pretty busy th this hatching season. She's a chronic smoker. That that's my story for her. Uh, a lot to do? Yeah. The birds seem to be in slight uproar. Like, something is amiss. I just can't figure out what. You got some weird birds. Birds don't roar. Animals often have a sixth sense, you know? Like a, like there's probably a horror storm or apocalypse coming or a demon lord. Anyways, hand over a drink, will you? Uh, of course, yeah. What will it be this time? Never met this person in my life. Something for the wits again? You know me well. Too well, I guess. That's the curse of being a regular. Eventually, I'll have to, I'll, I'll have you all figure it out. Hmm, I hate to disappoint you, but you're wrong today. Uh, am I now? Yeah, I'm quite confident in, in the capabilities of my mind and wits. Uh, of course. So, what I'll need instead is something to protect me from weather or foe. So I'm steeled for any situation. That, that makes sense. I'll see what I can do. Alright, uh, this is easy. She wants the, the con one. Likud steel, just a bit more digestible. This is exactly what I need for my trip. Yeah, where are you headed anyway? Oh, to the island of Boreas. At this time of year? At this time of day? In this part of the country? I want to reconnect with some friends at the annual Borean art convention. Isn't Boreas difficult to reach? And not exactly a place known for its population. The convention is especially for creatures. Like sylvan spirits, trolls, and the like. They'll also be electing the scariest monster for the next issue of Screech Maha. Ah! G yeah, I get it. Magazine. That sounds exciting. It'll be a sight to behold for sure. But do you know what I'm most excited about? Uh. Gnomes? Gnomes? I've yet to meet a gnome in Boreas. Ah, they're pretty shy, but they craft cute little trinkets. Always wanted to have one for my tavern. If I run into a gnome, I'll buy you a trinket. Now that we know what I'd be excited for, how about you? The geysers and hot springs, especially around this time of year, when the mornings are still a bit chilly and the sun tickles the sky on the horizon. Oh, all this heat isn't good for my lungs. Yeah, that sounds lovely. I'm sure those things will be nice muses too. Bet. <laughs> I'm bringing an extra set of paints this time so I don't run out again. I mean, Fable taught me how to make some from flowers and berries, but Borean flora is unsuitable for things like that. Seems like you're well prepared either way. Your bird is about to shit on my table, bro. How are the birds doing apart from being in distress? Well, the cinnamon green cheek contours, canures, are growing up to, to be a lovely bunch. I fucking love birds. I can't wait to release them back into the wild once they're strong enough. It, it takes a while because of all the smoke they, I ingest from my, my bad habits. With your care, they'll be ready in a heartbeat. My heartbeats are incredibly slow because of my lungs. I'm guessing you're taking Ruby and Merlin along to the convention. Those those two birds. Uh, neither of which are red or... Well, what, what color is Merlin? 
It's a gray. Okay, I, I guess that one is probably Merlin then. That is not a ruby. Of course. As for the others, I obviously can't take them with me. But I asked Fable to look after everyone. In exchange, I'll teach them how to grow zucchini. Fable said she can't grow those. Well, that's character development right there. Speaking of which, I wanted to leave my keys under their doormat. Sorry for the short stay, but I gotta hurry or else I'll miss my boat. It's quite a walk to their treehouse. And, and I'm pretty short of breath these days because of my lungs. Goddamn, th this voice is turning my throat. And you don't want to have to compensate me for that, do you? I wouldn't mind, but I also don't want you to bleed for your convention. Well then, so long and keep. See you soon. That was a nice interaction. Oh, nighttime already. Just thought one thing. Oh, Fable. My favorite uh, mediocre adventurer. Good evening. Good evening, Fable. Did you have a good day? I did. I visited Mr. Dragon and the other werewolves. Told them about Carolyn's quest and the Wyvern Chimera. Oh, so you heard about that. She told me before she left it, in case she... She told me some things to pass on to Mr. Dragon that I can't repeat here. I think she's happy he's back. Yeah, I think so too. Did you have tea with the other werewolves? Of course. We had a grand time together. I mentioned how much fun I had with the moon signs. So they taught me more about the stars and their hidden meanings. They, they've they started speaking to me. I hear the whispers of the stars now. Uh, which stars? Fable, I, I feel like you're getting adopted into a cult. Both sets. They specialize in Cassiopeia. You know, the night sky constellations on the astral plane and all. But they have one astrologer who knows a lot more about their reflections in the pools of the primordial sea. Oh my god. What the fuck are they talking about? The moonlight shall burn the wax of the last candle of man's sin. And she promised to teach me about that too. I can't wait to learn about the... How the sea mirrors, echoes, and it distorts the constellation. That's how she pitched it. Exciting, right? Uh, yeah, very. That's what I thought too. So I... Well... Well, what is it, Fable? I... I may or not have finished that little gift I was talking about yesterday. Or rather, that Carolyn was talking about. You know, the little keepsake from my time with the werewolves. Yeah, I recall. You, you, you were making a present for me, and then you got embarrassed when Carolyn outed you. A reminder of my very first successful quest. I just didn't know if... If you... I, I like trinkets. I was... I keep begging my patrons for new stuff to put on the wall. So... Oh. What is it? It's a piece of embroidery of a constellation. The werewolves taught me how to do it. While the astrologer told us stories and myths about the stars and their twin reflections. I imagine it to be a constellation from a far away realm. So you just made up a constellation. I call it the Little Dipper. That's crazy. It's too bad those stars don't exist in this uh, part of the world. Oh, shit. It does look like a little dipper. I think it could also be a big dipper. I I'm just gonna say this. I think it's a big dipper. A big dipper? Last time I checked, stars weren't known to be very small, so... Do you think there's a world out somewhere out there with a constellation called the Big Dipper in the night sky? Don't be stupid, Fable. That's stupid. You should feel bad. No universe is stupid enough to name their constellation something that dumb. Maybe the Big Dipper is a part of a larger constellation. A bear, for example. A bear? Inkeep, I think you might be the one dreaming something up now. Okay, <laughs> chill, Fable. I, I was just indulging you in your fantasies a little bit. But whatever. Yeah, most likely. Are you fond of the stars surrounding us? I, I do like to watch them from time to time. Oh, really? 
Do you prefer the stars of the astral or the primordial sea? Yeah, bro. I I like I like fucking lights and shit, dude. Uh, primordial sea. Nah, I like the astral sea more. Really? That's surprising. Then again, you do help people change, just like Cassiopeia. You'll have to give me your birth data soon, so I can calculate your birth chart. If if that's okay with you, of course. No, Fable. That's hella rude. I'm not giving you that information. That's great. Thank you. I think you might be a double jackdaw. Are you? We'll see. We will. A double jackdaw? That's double jacked of you to say, Fable. That one up there is the only jackdaw around here. And for you to suggest anything else is disrespectful. Until then, care for a drink to wind down? Or something more zesty, perhaps? A drink, please. I think I figured out how to make my own zest. Happy to hear that, Fable. But drinks. Not sure how to make those just yet. Especially those with the right balance. I'll still have to make the rounds around the grove later. So, could you make me something that will keep me awake and agile? Like a swift strike? Like, like the same thing I order every day? A swift strike? Do you think you know me well enough to guess what I might be <laughs> need? Yeah. Yeah, you want a shift strike. I get it. Here. Thank you. This is delicious. You always know what I need. I think you might also need a break, so maybe stay a while before heading back. That sounds like a good idea. I'll just idle here for a bit, if that's okay. Always. Enjoy your rest, Fable. Thank you. Oh, look who's back. Groot. <laughs> Hold on, I, I gotta I gotta get it. <laughs> Hold on. Fuck. Greetings, Inkeep. Greetings, Kyle. Greetings, green creature. Greetings, Mr. Vampire. Oh, how polite. Are you enjoying your drink? I am, thank you. Then I shall leave you to its inspiring aftertaste. And keep. Say, did you move your inn by any chance? It took me hours to find it. Yeah, bro. I did. Ha! I knew it. Your silly tricks won't work on me, mortal. Or, well, I'm not certain you are mortal, but you have some silly tricks nonetheless. I instantly spotted the new alleyways that have formed themselves around your establishment. Perhaps I even got lost in them, in their winding paths and dark corners. Anything could be hiding within them. Like a vampire? No, silly snack. I don't need to hide. Except during games of hide and seek. I am very good at those. You know, you do have an invisible cape. Well, you should have an invisible cape, and I bet that would help. Maybe they didn't want it to play around with you. Mayhaps, but it underestimated my skill. As a three-time hide-and-seek world champion, I would never lose to such a youngling of an inn. It's not that young. The wood isn't even rotting yet, Darren Keep. It still has many eons ahead of it. No, it's kind of like a, a Theseus ship situation where we've just been replacing everything over and over. It's not even the same place as it was at like 10 billion years ago. I like the sound of that though. As a celebration of a uh, match well won, may I offer you a drink? Yes, I think that would be well deserved. Has that delicious blood of yours made it onto the menu yet? Nope, not yet. I mean, Fable, unless you want to help me out right now, you know, slit your wrist a little bit. Pour one out. Into a cup, that is. Shame. Then I shall have some of that Fox blood again, please. It does make my bones feel more sturdy. Coming right up. He wants the red drink. That slime is still on him. Some f f Fox... How, how do you say that word? Foul blood? Is the X silent? Probably is just like fucking French or something. Some foul blood for your bones. Enjoy. Ah, oh, this is perfect, Inkeep. 
The only thing that could make me happier would be a drink lovingly titled The Innkeeper's Vein. Keep dreaming, Count Dracula. <laughs> Again, I, I feel like <laughs> that is not, like, in good taste to say. Speaking of dreams, how is the retrieval of my cape coming along? Uh, swimmingly. I sent the uh, emo rogue guy after it. Well, actually, I think there's very little water involved. I wouldn't be so sure. My dear Evelyn has a beautiful fond pond filled with long toothed spine guppies in her courtyard. It's her pride and joy. I would hope there's no one swimming in that. But I have sent someone on your quest. I'm sure he'll return soon. And you and your cape will be re reunited. Marvelous. Speaking of inseparable teams, where's uh Rhea? Oh, she's taken the day off. She demanded vacation time, so I said she could choose any day she and she chose today. I was going to also take a day off and spend her vacation with her. But when I wanted to follow her to the market, my sleeve caught on fire and my hand and my hair. So I was forced to stay back due to my allergies. How actually has this guy survived more than a year of his vampire life? Also, you're not her boss. You can't t give her vacation times. The weeping amaryllis pollen is very bad at this time of year. And the sun. The sun is also bad for vampires. Is it? Yes. Right. I need sunscreen. It's still in the works. Did you get to see the market later? I did. It was beautiful, colorful, and full of music that would have made anyone's heart dance. But I couldn't find Rhea anywhere, so I felt a little lonely. She probably went to bed. Luckily, I managed to make a new friend in no time. Very tall and brooding, just how I like them. I inquired if I could try on its, his dark armor of s swirling shadow and onyx bone. But he said if I tried to take it from him, he would turn me to ash. What a joke, sir. Dark armor of swirling shadow and onyx bone. That sounds like an antagonist if I've ever heard one. Yes, a true connoisseur of fashion. He's just visiting, he said. Had some great crepe re recommendations. Plum crepes with ash sprinkles? Yes, they tasted deliciously dead. I think the innkeeper knows something. I see. I hope you enjoyed your evening together. We did, though. I feel like he asked something of me. I promised I would remember. Perhaps he wanted my cape? Many people want my cape. Uh, perhaps. But I, I would have never agreed to that. It is my cape, after all. Maybe he wants my Pasca recipe. Is it good? Very much so. Then I'd like it as well. Oh, yes, you. Mia. He asked me something about you. That's interesting, me. Yes, he said he's an old friend of yours. He was very curious about how your inn is doing. I sang your praises, of course, so he asked me to deliver you greetings. And congratulates you on the well-run establishment. Well, well, you gotta tell me his name. How did he phrase it? Deliver my congratulations on the faux piece your precious innkeep has found in his house of denial. On the faux piece your precious innkeep has found in it. That does not sound like a compliment. Very poetic, if you ask me. Very. If only I could remember his name. Does my description of him ring any bells for you? No, I'm afraid. Is this like a secret the innkeeper character has? Like, does he know? There's a fedora on that tree. That's fucked. I want that out of here. Too bad. He must be an old childhood friend. Maybe you went to school together. I heard many friendships are formed in such halls. Did you not go to school? Well, now you look like the homeschooled type. Weird as you are. Maybe. Do you want to tell me more about your time at the market? Most certainly. I found the loveliest trinkets. 
like a little stuffed bear with a tiny raincoat and a crescent elder moon necklace. I found a gorgeous sun charm as well. I bought it for Rhea as a welcome back vac from vacation gift. That's very sweet. I would not be surprised if she ditched you entirely though and she's never coming back. Your friend bought a delightful raven figurine with eyes of starlight. Please don't call him that. We should never deny our friends, even if we don't remember them. I don't remember any of my friends. Alas, I still love them, even if their memory lives on only in my heart. Anyhow, he said it was a gift to himself to celebrate the dawning of the month of the astral moon. Oh, I love Cassiopeia so dearly. She is the most beautiful month, is she not? A haven of starlight reflected in the primordial sea below. All key words that were mentioned very recently. Only once a year is she this close to us, and only then, for a short period of time. To me, she is the harbinger of yearning and of change. I wonder how we'll change this month. Is this foreshadowing? That's interesting. Uh, I hope to be more capeful and sunscreen by the end of it. Maybe even a little less alone. What about you? I like the way I am, but I wouldn't say no to stocking up on more ingredients. Ah, the refusal to change is dangerous and keep. Change always comes to those who deny it the most. Again, it seems dangerously foreshadowing. <laughs> By the end of the astral moon, we shall no longer be who we once were. That sounds like a threat. By no means. Maybe it promises mourning, but maybe it's celebration also. Could it not? For example, my dear Rhea hated vampires when she met me, and now she likes me. True change can occur before the stars change, it seems. I don't want to say she still hates you. I mean, you probably won't even remember if I said it anyway. But, uh, yeah, you're hard to dislike, I guess. Oh, how sweet of you. As sweet as my blood. I have a lot of it. I would hope you do. And it runs warm when people are kind to me. I thought you were undead. Should you have running blood? I, I don't know. Whatever. I won't question it. In all my millennia, Kindness has always made me the happiest. There's nothing greater than friendship, don't you agree? And nothing more fragile. Oh wow, innkeeper's brooding now. <laughs> that makes it all the more precious. That reminds me, I forgot a crucial part of the message. Our dear friend stranger told me that he would like to see you again, he said. What was it? Don't think too hard about it. Wow, I'm really trying to dodge this guy. Ah, of course, the letter. The letter? The polite young man gave me a letter to deliver to you. What a sweet gesture. I shall pass it on to you forthwith. Thank you. Are you going to, are you not going to open it? No, I don't think now's the right time for a letter. Not enough moonlight, you know? But wouldn't it be kind of romantic? Longingly dwelling in the memories of a friend. Fable just casually listening in over here. It would go so well with fireworks. What fireworks? I have no clue. He said he hopes you'll enjoy them. Oh, Jesus. Fireworks. Doesn't that sound lovely? I hope they aren't a part of a private event. I think that would be difficult to do with fireworks. Oh. What the? Holy shit! What the fuck is happening outside, dude? I don't mean to interrupt, but what is it, little fawn? Look outside. I think I think the fireworks have started. Oh, how beautiful. They're falling from the sky. Hello, little fireworks. Sparkle on. They're killing. They're killing thousands. Hundreds are dying and they're- holy shit, the buildings are on fire! Those aren't fireworks. 
their stars. Oh shit. Am I what's happening? Oh, that's it? Okay. I'm on act two now. I'm gonna play the second one right now. But you'll get the video later. I'll probably split it up.